What's up Thrill Seekers? So, today I am with my cousin and his friend and we are at Six Flags New England. I'm super excited today. I'm gonna get my 100th coaster on Superman the Ride, which I am beyond excited about. And yeah, I've just never been here before. Should be awesome. Excited for Wicked Cyclone and Superman the Ride, of course. So, yeah, let's head in. Unfortunately, um, uh, Goliath is closed. Ha! <laughs> Sucks to suck. Um, <laughs> honestly, not too sad about it. It's not like it's the best ride, but... We're gonna go on Thunderbolt right over there, um, and then probably Superman the Ride for my 100th. Alright, Thunderbolt. Uh, I think it has like a 30 minute wait, so not bad, but uh, let's do it. Literally just goes there and back. Is my hundred we got, we got one train up. One train up. Alright, so Thunderbolt is pretty decent. Um, we sat in the front, which was nice. Um, at least it was nice for the POV. Overall, in the front, didn't get too much air time. Um, definitely would have gotten more if we were in the back, but there is, no, there is like a sign seating, and uh, we're going to probably get some food and then go on Superman, which is right over there. So. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna get some food here at, I don't even know what it's called. Oh, the uh, Riverboat Cafe. So, yeah. They just got some food. Is it good? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I just got chips, so I'll probably get something later. But anyways, see you on Superman. Station wait for Superman the ride. Super excited. Oh, look at how high we are though. This is scary for me. No, that's that's called graying out. It's actually normal. Here we go. Oh snap, that's so scary.
right, guys. So I just got my 100th roller coaster on Superman the Ride here at um, Six Flags New England. I got the picture um, of me holding the sign and everything. It's probably going to be the thumbnail, but yeah, that was awesome. Um, definitely top five. I don't think it's better than Steel Vengeance. Um, definitely better than Millennium Force. So I think this might be my number two roller coaster that I've ever ridden. So. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to uh, ride it one more time and then do um, the Wild Mouse and probably Riddler's Revenge if it's open. So, yeah. This is what we're going to do next. Little family coaster, but got to get it for the credit. Going on to the back. The horse is in the back. Okay. That was all right. Nothing too special. Just like a little family coaster. Um, there are no, like, things in the middle, so I was alone on that ride, and I, like, went back and forth and back and forth. kind of hurt, but now we're going on this thing. Okay, so that ride sucks, um, <laughs> like so bad. It hurts so bad. Um, but we are about to go on another coaster that may hurt a little bit more. Um, Riddler's Revenge, the Vacoma SLC. It's gonna be my first SLC, so I'm excited but not excited. By the way, I didn't put the POV of this or that in um, the video just because there's really no point. It's just little coasters, so. Um, now we're gonna go back to, you know, the bigger rides, um, that we're gonna ride, so yeah. Okay, so to be honest, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, they're definitely, definitely underrated. It's not like the worst ride I've been on. Definitely not the worst here. Um, overall, it's a decent ride. Um, the restraints are like the vest restraints. Um, so you don't really bang your head. Um, on the last brake run, you really like slam forward and back. But overall, it's not like awful or anything. It's definitely rough, but it's not bad. Next, I think we're gonna do Batman the Dark Knight, um, maybe Joker if it's open, and um, definitely Harley Quinn's been Santa. Okay, so Harley, not Harley Quinn, um, Batman the Dark Knight is down for maintenance, unfortunately. So, we're gonna go on Harley Quinn. Most likely it'll be up in like not too long, but yeah, we're just gonna do Harley Quinn um, and then probably Batman and then Joker if they're up by then, which hopefully they are. 
I mean, there's nobody on it. Oh, well done. Perfect. This is gonna be terrifying. That's super fun. A few moments later. Well, as the name suggests, that was spin sanity. <laughs> um, anyways, we're gonna go on Joker now. I'm not gonna show the POV for Joker, just because I've already shown it for Batman the Ride um, at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. If you want to see that vlog, then um, just click up in the corner. But anyways, yeah, we're going to go on the Joker. It'll be super awesome. Um, I didn't really expect much, it's just a clone, so nothing too special or anything, but it was pretty much just as good as um, Batman the Ride at Fiesta Texas. To be honest, I kind of liked this one more, but overall, not much of a difference, so I think we're going to cut across to the next section and do uh, Wicked Cyclone and all of all of those things, but uh, I guess we'll check if Batman's open, and if it is, then we'll go on it. So, unfortunately, um, Batman is still closed, uh, but we are going to go over to uh, over to Goliath and Wicked Cyclone and um, and Flashback and get those credits. Um, I don't know if Goliath is open. It was testing, um, but I don't know. We'll get those and then maybe come back. Um, so yeah. Goliath, right there. It was testing, so I don't know if it still is, but yeah. This is a nice area. Sort of a old west type of type of style area. Obviously, still just Six Flags cheap theming, but you know, it's pretty decent. There's Goliath testing. There we are. Something that is open though is flashback. Flashback to what? How about this? I get flashbacks to when I wrote it, which reminds me never to write it again. That the kind of flashback they want? So we're gonna go on flashback and then on um, poltergeist and finally to Twisted Tech. Some nice food options here, uh, pandemonium and flashback. So, yeah. But, anyways, well, let's do flashback first. There it goes. It's going to be Superman number one at this park, and then that right there is going to be number two. Yeah, it's, it's, whoa, whoa. Whoa. There we go. 
I mean, it wasn't good and it wasn't bad. There's pandemonium. We're gonna go on that. And then we're gonna go on Wicked Cyclone. Pandemonium. I didn't know this one today. Bye bye, Okay, I mean, to be honest, most of these rides are mediocre. It's just uh, Superman the Ride and probably Batman. Um, that's actually really good, but uh, we're gonna go on Wicked Cyclone now, so yeah. Alright, cool. That's actually pretty sick. I'm theming though. This is honestly hauling, so I'm excited for this. Seems to be like running pretty fast, especially because it's a little bit later in the day. A few moments later. But it was kind of running slow. So, I just rode Wicked Cyclone. It was, well, first of all, it was really good. Um, all RMCs are super good. I will, I do have to say, it kind of disappointed me. What? Um, just because I was building it up to be one of the best rides in the park in terms of, and of course it's definitely number two, but some people like. Is this for you too? Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, honestly, it was like, it kind of disappointed me. It was not, definitely not as good as, um, definitely not as good as Superman the Ride. I'm going to ride it again. Maybe I just got a bad ride, but it was kind of running slow. Um, so, I don't know. I guess I'll talk to you after my second ride. It does have good, um, do, does have good theming though. With that and that and there's a plane over here that's like supposed to be crashed and all of that.
Um, to be honest, that ride was a lot better. Um, it's definitely an intense and like crazy ride. I think the reason why um, I was like um, kind of hating on it a little was just because disappointed me a little. I thought it would be a little bit better than it was, but um, it's still an amazing ride. Definitely number two here, probably top 20 um, in my top 20. So overall a good ride. And I think I heard, yes, Goliath, the giant inverted boomerang is open. So we're going to ride that and I'm super excited. Before I go on Goliath, I am going to grab some food because I am starving. Literally haven't had any food since the beginning of the day. So yeah, I'm going to go grab some food. I'll tell you how it is. Alright, so this camera, I'm using a different camera, but this camera is about to run out of battery. So I'm going to switch to my, whoa, I'm going to switch to my phone camera right now. Alright, so this is my phone camera. I don't know how the quality is, like, comparable, but I just got my food. It looks pretty good. Um, I just got it at the fish, fish and Ships place right next to um, Flashback and Pandemonium. So, yeah, I'm going to eat this, and then we're going to go on Goliath. I don't know why I just started recording. I'm still eating. <laughs> All right, so the food was awesome, um, but we're about to go on this guy right here, um, Goliath, which is the giant inverted boomerang. Um, after that, we'll see if we can get Goliath, or sorry, Batman, because Batman the Dark Knight, because um, it was closed when we went there, where, when we were near it, so. And then we're pretty much gonna just ride Superman a whole bunch of times, so yeah. Okay, uh, that sucked. Worst ride in the park. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. Cause you get jackhammered up and down, but also side to side. So yeah, in reality it's, I mean, if you're here for the first time, do it for the credit, of course. But um, if you've been here before um, and already ridden it, definitely don't do it. Or if you like don't really have much time and you have to skip something, skip that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just not very good. We're gonna do Batman The Dark Knight now, um, because when we were over there it was closed, and it should be open now, hopefully. And then we're just going to do, whoa, the lighting. Um, then we're just gonna do Superman The Ride over and over. Already at the top.
overall, whoa, the lighting. Overall, I thought Batman was very good. Um, probably like a lower tier, uh, um, probably a lower tier um, b and Floorless. I think better than Dominator, um, but definitely not as good as Rougarou or Superman Krypton Coaster. Um, overall, whoa, the lighting up. Overall, it was pretty like smooth, except for like a couple points. Um, like the interlocking corkscrews were definitely not smooth, um, but everything else was pretty smooth, so didn't really notice much of a B and M rattle or anything. So yeah, um, think we're just gonna ride Superman over and over again. So I'll get a couple shots of that and then do an outro. really going to be it for our day at uh, Six Flags New England. We're heading out right now um, and it was honestly really fun. The only problem I have with this park is that it has some really great coasters like Wicked Cyclone, um, Superman the Ride especially, and uh, Batman the Dark Knight. Those are all super great. Um, Harley Quinn's Spin Sanity was great, uh, but other than that, the coasters aren't very good. You know, Riddler's Revenge, the SLC, um, Boomerang, okay. Um, Goliath sucked. Um, but, like, overall, it's, it was an awesome day because I at least I got to go to an amusement park. Um, but if I did have one complaint, it would just be that they have the main coasters and then all of the other ones are trash. So, uh, yeah, great day. I still do uh, recommend coming here for anybody who wants to, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video. As always, peace out.